The Rite of Passage, the Jurassic edition. In Enter the Kettlebell, classic book by Pavel, he has the Rite of Passage program, which has only two main exercises. It has a clean and press, also pull-ups if you want to add them, and the snatch mainly. I'm going to present to you a Jurassic and classic edition of the same program. Here's a very simple way to understand how to get stronger, how to build conditioning, and getting great results from only two exercises. We have the clean and press. We have the snatch. Both are full body exercises. Uses all the muscle groups in your body. That's why they're so efficient. You can expect to get much stronger, build muscle overall throughout your body, and get some great conditioning. Before starting the clean and press and the snatch, make sure you've done your fair share of kettlebell swings, two arm and one arm, and you've gotten stronger in your get-ups. The Rite of Passage Jurassic Edition is a little simpler version than the Rite of Passage from Enter the Kettlebell. Let me explain how. So the details are only two exercises. Let me show you the variations. Make sure you train three days a week. Do the program for a minimum of 12 weeks. The longer you stay on the program, the better results you're going to get and the stronger you'll become. Change the order of the exercises from day to day. Meaning, first day you can do clean and press first and snatch after. And the second day you can do snatch first and clean and press right after. And keep alternating three days a week. As an option, you may also add some variations into the movements. Here's what you do. Instead of doing a clean before each press, just perform the strict one arm press with only one clean. Do consecutive presses. Instead of doing a snatch, perform a one arm swing. Or even, if you want to save your grip, two arm swing. Use variations instead of the regular two standard. Here's your clean and press progression. Use a weight that you know you can probably do about seven or eight reps consecutively if you were to perform a rep max test. Start your first training session with three ladders of one, two, three, which gives you a total of 18 reps per arm. Let me explain the ladder and how it works. Perform one rep on your left, set it down, rest, then perform one on your right. Shake off the tension, and when you feel ready, you do two per side. After a brief rest or longer, do three reps. Repeat three times. Each following training session, add one ladder until a certain point throughout the weeks that you're going to reach 10 ladders of one, two, three, which will give you a total of 60 reps. The maximum before the pro progression is always 60 reps. The following training session after you reach this point is you're going to go back down to two ladders, but instead of one, two, three, you'll do one, two, three, four. This will give you a total of 20 reps. Keep progressing and add one more ladder every training session until you reach six ladders, which will give you 60 reps in total. The progression after that is one, two, three, four, five. Only start with one ladder, because only at 15 reps, it's a form of deload, but it's still challenging at five. Reach the point until you get four ladders of one, two, three, four, five, and that's gonna give you your 60 reps. After that, try increasing kettlebell sizes and repeat the process over again. The snatch progression, is the same as simple and sinister, which we use the timeless approach. Timeless means no time, whatever time it takes you to accomplish the goal. The goal for the snatch is 100 repetitions in total. You're gonna start really easy by performing only five reps. With a weight, you know you could probably do 10. When you can do 20 sets of five reps in total, which you get 100, and you feel it's pretty easy, switch to doing sets of 10. You're gonna do five sets of 10 by using the timeless approach, which means take your time. This may take weeks and months to feel comfortable at doing 100 reps total with 10 reps per arm in the snatch. This way of training the timeless approach is not a peaking method. So I recommend don't condense the time until you're ready. You'll know you're ready when 100 reps feels kind of easy or easier than before. What you can do is once in a while, maybe once a month, Test how long it takes you to combine to do 100 reps in total as fast as possible without losing your form, your technique, or killing yourself. Get 100 reps in shorter time strongly. Even for a clean and press, when you feel stronger, maybe go for a PR. Use the kettlebell you're currently doing for ladders and attempt a repetition max test. 
See if you got much stronger. You can also use a kettlebell up size, either four kilos or heavier, and try one to three reps. Remember, only test in a clean and press or snatch on a good day when you're feeling strong. I really hope you liked this video of my explanation of the Jurassic Rite of Passage program by Pavel and Strong First.